Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to reach out to us with any business questions that you might have with regards to your business, there's a number of ways you can do that. Visit the description below this video. You can either reach out to me via WhatsApp or you can send me a question. If you have one to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. And if you want to learn more about our number one business coaching program, where we have coaches that we're working with in all sports and in multiple different countries. It's our sports accelerator program and there's a number of ways that you can learn more, but basically visit the description below and you can book a call with me where we can jump on Zoom and I can give you a bit of a lowdown on what that program is about and see if we are a good fit to work together. So today I want to talk about going from or transitioning from coaching to business owner. Now I speak to coaches every single day it, all, all across the world. So I speak to coaches in the US, in the UK, in Australia, New Zealand, in Canada, in Mexico. Every day I'm getting messages from coaches reaching out to me who are watching either our YouTube channel or, or on our uh, newsletter. And the perception I get from a lot of coaches out there who I speak with is that a lot of coaches think that having a successful business equals being a great coach or trainer. Now, that is true to a certain extent, but in order to become a successful business owner and run a successful business, there's a lot more things that require are required from you in order to do that, right? You have to remember that your coaching is essentially your product, right? That is what's bringing customers, parents, players into your program. Now, in order for that to happen, there's a lot that goes with the coaching. When I first started, I spent so much time focusing on how to improve as a coach and I didn't take the time out to improve my business skills. So there's three fundamental, fundamental things I want to share with you today, which are going to give you a better insight into what are the requirements from transitioning from just a simple coach to a business owner. Right. When you're a coach, you're simply focusing on designing, planning and running your training sessions. That is all that is required of you. You turn up, you put on a session, you do a good job and then you go home. Now, when you look to then start your own thing, start your own business, there's a lot more that is required of you. And I want to share, you, share with you three things that will be required from you when you make that transition from just a coach to a business owner. Now, the first one is you've got to learn the legal side of the business, right? When you set up a business, it is a legal requirement that you, number one, register the business properly. Number two, that you have a business bank account that receives all the money that's coming in and all the money that's going out of the business. Now, the reason why it's a requirement is because that's gonna help you when it comes to the next bit, which is your taxes, right? When you, when you do your accounting and your taxes, that is essentially your duty as a business owner to learn how to do that because you have a legal requirement to pay taxes on all the profits that your business is making, okay? And from experience, right, when I got this part of being a business owner good and correct, what started to happen is I started to make more money in the long term. At the beginning, when I was all over the place and I was trying to, to kind of wing it and do, do things, um, you know, not, 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 not in an organized way, I was losing a lot of money because there were certain things that, I was putting through as expenses that weren't expenses. There were certain things that I could have put through as expenses that I didn't. 
Um, I didn't have a business account. I was doing everything through my personal account and it was just a complete mess. But what I did is I transitioned, I found an accountant and I got everything set up properly and legally, right? So that is your first requirement. As a business owner, okay, it's not just the coaching now, but it's the legal side of being a business owner. Now, the second one is marketing, right? When you have a product and a service that you're offering to the public in order for, for people to transition with you to pay for your service, you have to make sure that you're marketing yourself on a daily basis. And the reason why is because with your with marketing, it drives, it creates leads, it creates interest. And that's essentially what's going to keep your business going, which is sales. Right? If you're not selling your services to people, people aren't buying your product, which means you are you you're not going to have a business for long. Right. So marketing means branding, S, creating a logo. Uh, creating a business, a proper business name that is attractive, it kind of resonates with your target audience. Uh, having a strategy behind the target, the, the the marketing. Are you using Facebook to build the business? Are you using Instagram to build the business? Are you using YouTube to generate leads? Are you using software to create an email marketing campaign? So what is the what is the ways you you are going about creating and generating leads that can then grow your business? Right, being a business owner requires you to learn about sales and marketing, right? And then how can you go from lead generation to then closing them into becoming customers? Right, so you've got to learn the sales and marketing game when you become a business owner. Now, the third one is client retention and management. So once you've generated those, created those leads, you've closed them into your program, now they're paying customers, you've got to learn how to retain them in your business so that they're constantly paying you on a monthly basis and staying in your business so that you can then create profit and expand, expand and scale to the next level. So client retention is something that I can help you with. Just get in contact with me. Send me any questions that you might have to either my WhatsApp or my email. But client retention is how can you add value to the customer so they're staying with you and not going somewhere else for your services. Okay. And then management is how are you managing those, those customers, right? It's not just well and good putting on a great training session, and then that's it, right? How, how are you retaining them? How are you adding value? And how are you developing your business so that those customers want to stay with you for longer in an industry where there's constantly new coaches coming in, starting a business, okay? So if you need more help with this, reach out to me again, okay? Visit description below. Number of ways we can help you and your business. Don't stay stuck, right? We've been doing this for a very long time. We've worked with coaches in all sports in multiple countries. So reach out to us. And if you want to learn more about our Sports Accelerator program, all that you have to do is book a call with me. Visit description below. And we can jump on Zoom and see if you are a good fit for what we have. Okay, thank you for watching. Again, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the content.